Hey everyone, it's Desiree and we are here with day 11. We are almost halfway through. Oh my. So this one is going to be about a rainbow Christmas. Just because these are Christmas cards or even holiday cards that you're creating doesn't mean we can't put a rainbow in them. So I dug into my stash and I just found mainly some sentiment dies that would work really well with this but also found a very simplistic die. These are Christmas trees, literally, by Simon Says Stamp. There's four different versions of those trees. I am in love with this sentiment because I love the embossing that it does on the top, the Mary, and you can do so many things with that. So I just think it's great. That's by Poppy Stamps. This one kind of says it all. Ho. You can make it ho squared. You can add a three to that. You can put ho, ho, ho. My husband loves it when I say ho, because I'm like, ho, ho, ho. So we sing it. Okay, enough of that. The Mary frame, it's very simplistic, very simple. And again, it can just say Mary. So again, look at your dies and stretch them. Now, this one is um, is by Alexandra uh, Renke. I hopefully you said that right, because I'm horrible with pronunciation. I love the look of that die. I love the font, the way that it seems. I'm digging into these. Now, these are not scraps. Um, last year, my husband, yes, he makes an attempt and walks into Michael's. He has no idea what he's looking at. But what he saw those were these little tiny, like two inch by three inch blocks. They already have a rainbow. So you know what? This is what I use them for. So let's get started with our first card. It's going to be a standard A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's going to be a landscape card. I actually, some of you, if you remember from the very beginning, um, I still cannot live without my, my favorite things, wonky die, my wonky rectangle. And here it is. It has made a comeback. I found it. Yes. Very excited. So I use that to cut out my panel. I do like to work off of a panel, um, and I refer to it as a design panel. I very rarely like to go directly to my card base. Don't get me wrong, you can. And you can certainly do that with this design that I've, I've created here. But for some reason, I feel more comfortable on a design base, uh, whether that's four and a quarter by five and a half, four by five and a quarter, or whatever it is I'm cutting that down to. So that's what's sitting up there. Now I've dug into uh, my distress inks, and of course I should probably have that piece of paper in front of me so that I can tell you the colors that I used. But again, I just went with the rainbow. I started with a pink, red, orange, yellow, green, um, an aqua, which is like the light blue, a uh, blue, and a purple. So those, and actually a light and a dark purple. So those are the colors that I use. Now, what I did was I did use my Distress inks, not my Oxide, my regular inks, to just give some shading around them. And I used Picked Raspberry, Aged Mahogany, Spice Marmalade, Wild Honey, Rustic Wilderness, yes, the new color, yay, um, Chip Sapphire, Broken China, Tumbled Glass, Shaded Lilac. I also used Black Soot and Dusty Concord. I'm using my finger sponge daubers by scrapbook.com. I absolutely love these. Um, I love the case that they come in. So very convenient. So this is the sentiment that I die cut. Now you can see you've got a break between the R and the I, but everything else is together. I had to make the snow on top of the M-E-R-R-Y. So you can do that in different ways. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute because I forgot. Yes, I'm actually, see, my plates are loved. Very loved. I'm using my Lawn Fawn Hillside Dies, and I'm just cutting two. Now, I'm cutting these larger than what I need um, because I'm not quite sure what size I need, so I will, I will allow for waste um, when it comes to this because, again, as I'm creating a card, and what I'm trying to do in this series is to not edit as much. 
So really the only things that I'm editing is if I walk away and forget to stop recording. And sometimes when I die cut, because sometimes when I die cut, it shakes the camera and it annoys me. I'm sure it annoys you, but I do that. But once in a while, I'll show it. Um, but other than that, I'm showing all of the process. I will leave a, some waste, like I said, as I gab. Um, and I know people have comment. How can you do that? And I understand that. But when it comes to my thought process, I have an idea of what my card is that I'm going to make. Sometimes I'll make a sketch of it. Sometimes I won't. More than likely, I won't. Really, when I'm working on a kit, and I'm creating that five-card one kit, not the Spellbinders, um, that's when I pull in sketches so I can remember <laughs> what I want to do. Because <laughs> I, I will forget. But when it comes to these cards, I'm really going with it. So to have that waste allows me wiggle room. It's like liquid glue. <clears throat> it gives me that room to change my mind, um, to do something different. You can see that I've cut the hills. I've got them set where I want them to set. And again, I based it off of that bottom hill. I'm going to come in with just a little bit of ink just for the hills, just so that they can be defined because they're on white on white. In this case, I want the hills to come out. I want them to be seen. And I'm going to glue that below. Now, what I could have done also was use the wonky die again so that I had the continuing of the pattern, lined it up on the bottom. Again, I must make things difficult. Jigs. Just don't do what I do. Um, make it easy. But I did want this to be coming up off the card as if it was a separate element coming off to have that frame of the wonky going around it. I pulled in my Ranger Emboss It pen, and I'm going over those raised areas over the M-E-R-R-Y, Mary. And I'm gonna come in with my white embossing, excuse me, embossing powder. Now, do you need one of the pens for this? No, you could have just lightly brushed your clear ink on top um, to get your embossing powder to stick. Um, but again, I just, I just love this die. Um, and I was, it made me so happy when I found it in my stash. Yes. Um, but I just think it is really, really cute. And by not covering the whole thing, it still stands out because you still have the red something, you know, just a little bit on the top. Because again, I'm putting it on a white background. Um, you know, I'm not putting it on a field. Um, it's a snowy background. So I'm just going to set that. I only die cut that once. I didn't need that to be raised. I already did have some dimension. Now, don't get me wrong. I would. I love to add dimension and just keep growing and growing and growing. That's why whenever I purchase my envelopes, I buy the size up. I do not buy a standard A2 size envelope. Um, I think my envelopes, oh, I forget the size of my envelopes, but they're the next size up because it gives me that room. Here I'm playing with the placement. I want to make sure that the rainbow is, of course, going across the card. So I start out with my pink. There's my red, my orange, my yellow, my green. I'm going to call that aqua, the blue, the light purple, and the dark purple. So I'm just having fun placing those. I did cut down the dark purple one um, so that it comes down a little bit lower. I didn't want them all the same height. I wanted them at different heights. So once they're in there, I'm just putting a little bit of glue just at the top of them. I'm not worried about the whole thing being covered with glue. If it's just at the top, it's going to stick. Um, and then I'm going to have this last, the last one, just sit on the top. So I needed to put a uh, piece of double-sided foam square just behind that because it's sitting just right above the Mary. I've got glue all over my fingers, and I got it all over my yellow tray. I came in once that was drying, and you should really wait until your glue dries. I find best results with that um, to use my glue eraser. It's awesome. I love that. Of course, as you can see, I didn't wait for the glue to dry, and this is what happens. 
Got to sit there and clean up, and let's pull out that white gel pen just to cover up the areas that I've now smudged. Yes, love my white gel pen. Absolutely love it. I'm going to come in with my Spectrum Noir um, Clear Sparkle Pen. Um, I am a fan of the Spectrum Noir. Um, I just think it gives a lot of shimmer, and they're easier to work with. And what a deal! You get three in a pack. Um... So I am a fan. And plus, there's also others where you can get so many different colors. Um, I never had a problem with that. Usually, sometimes, I know the colored ones I have, they have been clumpy and they have clogged up. Um, and they tend to explode. Just saying. So I cut a frame of four and a quarter by five and a half in red to match the sentiment. And I placed that on my standard A2 size card base, which is now a landscape. So let's look at our next one. Now, I combined the Mary and the hoe. So I die cut the hoe <laughs> four times. Now, some of you, if you've seen my videos before, are like, wait a minute, that's an even number. She likes odd numbers. If you add the Mary, I'm at an odd number. I do like an odd number. I do like to create what I refer to as the triangle. And I'm making that shape of a triangle like you all can see me. Um, it would be funny if I filmed myself as I did my voiceovers and had that down in the corner. I am not doing that. But it would be funny because you would see, you know, I'd be sitting there. And my finger, my hands would still be moving. Anyway, so I die cut the square that comes from the sentiment three times with, or two times with white cardstock. And then the last time with some... Uh, I believe it's from Simon Says, um, their glitter cardstock. And then I used the red to cut out the Mary. Now, I have the strip or the outline that comes with that. So I put that in place first. And then the Mary didn't come out of the die cut, which was awesome, because I just put glue behind the letters. And I'm able, with my tweezers, to just hold down the letters and lift up everything else. Um, it actually worked. Usually it doesn't work for me. And again, I would make it difficult. I would do it by each letter. So I was glad this worked for me. And this is the way you want to do that. Because then everything's evenly spaced. Everything's where it should be. I'm just going to come in with a very stiff hog brush and just clean out the little fuzzies that I had from the red cardstock. So when it came to the, the ho, 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 because I have to say it four times, um, I did cut it out of some fun foam and then out of some white, um, no, I'm sorry, Recollections uh, Shimmer cardstock. Now, their shimmer cardstock, I think, is absolutely beautiful. It's like a silver and gold combined. It's really pretty. Um, it is a lightweight cardstock, um, but I just think it is really pretty. It's different. Um, so that is that that's what's going on top of my fun phone. So I have my panel here again. I used my wonky stitch rectangle. Welcome back. And now I'm going to set them in place. So starting with the two bottom corners, the one on the top and the bottom on the right. And now once those are set, then I'll place the other ones. That'll help me get um, even placement and as close to equal as possible. Yes, I could measure it. Yes, I could add my lines. I have to tell you, I'm lazy. Um, I just want to get to it. And if it's crooked, it's okay. Again, you've heard me say this before. You're going to hear me say it two million more times if I'm still around doing videos. We are not Hallmark people. We don't need to be matchy-matchy. We don't need to be perfect. Now... If that is your style, though, I'm not saying you shouldn't be that way. If you want to use a ruler, use a ruler. Um, I just don't. Um, I just kind of go with it because I'm just lazy. I just, I'm just being honest here. I'm just lazy. So now that I've got my four elements, you can see the rainbow is coming down through the ho, 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 ho. And then my sentiment's going to sit right on top. Again, I am going to use a red frame, which is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to stick that onto my standard A2 size card base. 
and this one will be a top folding card base. The glossy accents is coming in, and I must say, because of Courtney, I now, every time I grab my glossy accents, I'm thinking of hers. She has just recently finished her 25 Days of Christmas. I absolutely loved it. I loved the fact of the collaborations that she did, and I enjoyed watching all of those videos. Um, but she is a fan of the glossy accents. Um, so, yeah. Every time I grab her, I think of her. Just saying. Thank you, Courtney, in case you're watching. Just saying. Um, so I used the glossy accents. I wanted to see how it would look over the glitter paper. Eh. Eh. I didn't like it. I think it dulled the glitter paper. It kind of... I lost the vibrancy of the glitter. So don't do that. <laughs> I still love the card. I think it looks great, but don't do that. It did. It kind of dulled it down. Um, put the glossy, I should have put the glossy accents on the, on the card, the cardstock, the colors, the rainbow. That would have been cool. Okay. So this awesome die, um, this is absolutely my favorite die. And I thought it was perfect for a slimline card. Now my slimline cards are usually eight and a half by three and a half, um, or four by nine. Um, I like cutting them eight and a half by three and a half because I can take an eight and a half piece of, of cardstock, cut four inches off the long side. Now all I have to do is score it at three and a half along the long side. There's my three and a half by eight and a half. And then I have a card base for a four by four card. Um, again, stretching those supplies. Um, so to me, this is more convenient. I thought this was perfect. I cut the, what I'm going to call the cloud base. Um, that's sitting behind that three times um, to give it some dimension. And then I cut the, um, I believe I cut the top once. Yes, I cut that once and I'm going to set that on top. Here comes our rainbow. So our rainbow is going to sit in the Christmas. Now, when you die cut this, um, you can see the difference that you can get. Um, you, but you can see your letters are kind of cut out because they're overlapping each other. But you want to make sure for the A, make sure you keep the centerpiece so that you can keep that black line going on um, when it comes to that. I'm just going to inset or inlay, technical term there, um, each of my letters. I'm using my glue. I'm just putting that down into the base. It's a big enough area. And then I'm going to set the letters. Now I am using the um, sticky pokey tool. <laughs> the jewel picker. That's it. The jewel picker. Um, that was received in one of the Simon Says kits. Um, I'm kind of liking it. I still miss my wax pencils though. Again starting to move. This is going to take forever. I, I think I'm going to unpack that box so that I can have them back. Um, but this is nice. So you can see I'm putting down the black. No, I put the black down twice. Sorry about that. I did two layers of the black. How do I know? Because I have two layers of those little triangles. So I wasn't quite sure what I did there. So I am coming in again <laughs> with my sparkle pen and I'm going over the colored letters. Now, this looks great. So when you put your sparkle pen underneath, it will hold when you put, yes, the glossy accents is coming back with this. I am absolutely in love with this card. Do I love rainbows? Absolutely. I love rainbows. Are they my go-to design choice? No. <clears throat> no, they are not. But I do love them. Um, I take a picture every time I see one, I close my eyes and I make a wish. Yes, I'm still a kid at heart. I still do those things, um, and believe they should happen. And yes, I believe in Santa. Santa comes around every year. Absolutely. Um, but why not put a rainbow if that is your style? just because we're coming up to the holidays. And again, it's all the holidays. 
Um, yes, I do have a focus on Christmas. That's the, that's the holiday that I celebrate. Um, there are many dyes out there for all the holidays. Um, so by all means, but you can take this, this technique and put it to the holiday that you celebrate, which I think is wonderful and awesome. So I do like this. It's kind of got an edgy feel to it because of the black. I did this panel that it was put on is cut to three by eight, and then it is placed on a black framed panel that's cut to eight and a half by three and a half. Here comes the glossy accents. Now what's great is when you put your glossy accents over your sparkle pen, it holds the sparkle and it absolutely magnifies it. Now what I struggle with, because there's always something that I struggle with, um, I always get air bubbles. And I'm not, it looks like I'm moving fast. That's because I sped this up. But, <coughs> excuse me. But for some reason, I always get bubbles. I try to move slow so I don't get those bubbles. I don't shake the bottle. I move slowly. I always get air pockets. It's very frustrating. Very, very, see, here I come in again. I always got to come in with my tweezers or a pokey tool and pop those bubbles because those bubbles drive me crazy. They do not go away. So I hope you had fun. Um, rainbows make us smile. Um, they make us laugh. They make us giggle. Um, so we can all use that right about now, right? I did add some black jewels uh, by Pretty Pink Posh. Um, just around that, just to give it a little bit more of an accent. I am coming in with my tweezers just to even out because that's my OCD. It's got to be up to the edge and it's got to be even. <laughs> it's what I do. And that is our final card. So I hope you enjoyed the three designs, you know, putting a rainbow to Christmas. Um, I hope I've given you some ideas on things that are in your stash. Um, but as always, the products that I used, as long as they're still available, will be listed down below. If I cannot find the products, because again, I did dig into my stash, unless I otherwise state the product was sent to me. Um, if it's still available, it will be linked. If not, I'll put, sorry, not finding it, um, down below. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Everyone, continue to smile, laugh a little bit. But most of all, continue to stay safe and healthy. But to help doing that, just do this a little bit each day. What's most important to me is always be creative. Till next time, guys. Take care.